So you start by uh, logging into the router that is uh, our TP Link router using the default uh, admin admin username and password. My router is completely set up, so I'll just show you the steps and how you can do the same in your own system. So you can see the status the 3G and 4G is identified and it's activated. So first we'll move on to the network settings and then uh, we'll proceed to 3G 4G and here we'll select the APN. Since Aircell is not listed, we select the APN uh, that is Aircell Internet and the number is default. Click save and then proceed to WAN. Since I don't have a WAN connection or WAN port connected, just move on. LAN is by default it's a dot zero dot one so leave it in wireless settings give a proper SSID set up your region your channel mode and channel width is auto you can give a wireless WPA2 password in the wireless security tab and don't leave it blank since security is very important leave other settings as their defaults in the DHCP you can see it start from uh, dot 100 range it's okay so you don't need to modify the settings I have the following devices connected so you can see and the forwarding port triggering DMZ UPnP is same is similar to any other routers you have set up previously and uh, nothing's new here remote management if you want to re manage the router from the internet for that you can browse to the other settings uh, if you want to make any change but it's not necessary at this level in bandwidth control you can give the quality of service settings and all and in IP Mac binding you can Mac bind IP if you need such security settings and all. In system tools, you can uh, set up the time. Uh, you can also give some NTP server IP address for time synchronization. I will not give you the NTP server, I'll just simply click on get GMT to get the local time. In diagnostic option, you can ping any IP address if you want for checking the connection for firmware upgrade that one and backup and restore I'll backup my settings so I'm just clicking backup then save file save the dot bin file which you can restore uh, into the router any other time password this is a must step you must change the default admin password to any other thing it will not allow uh, any other characters any special characters other than dash and underscore as you can see in this example right now see you get an error that uh, you cannot use any other symbol other than a uh, hyphen and an underscore so make your password accordingly and do use some numbers or numeric values for better strength Again, log in with the new uh, password you have generated just now. Um, yes, you have log in and see the IP address of your 3G 4G router, and that's it. Thanks for watching this video.